Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock, even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks. This is what happens when I'm by myself, I be having to entertain myself. Anyway y'all, it's the next morning, and I'm getting ready to go downstairs and have breakfast. Um, even a casual today, I got this um, Levi's t-shirt that I thrifted, and those new jeans that I bought. I'm gonna work on that front tuck. I was looking up some stuff on Pinterest, so we go see. <clears throat> Bruh. Today on the agenda is training, and I think I may go see that little village I was I was looking at on the internet because I looked up like what's there to do, and I'm not in Birmingham proper, so everything that I kind of want to do is in Birmingham. But don't Birmingham be on the first one you ain't though. For homicide detective. I did not sleep well. I really don't know why I didn't sleep well. I was a little bit like wired. I guess excited to kind of be out and about. I don't know why. It's actually kind of weird. Because again, I've been to Birmingham so many times. I haven't been in this particular town, but I'm just going to finish getting ready. <laughs> Y'all, I made it out here to Hewitt Trustville High School, which is where we will be doing our training. Yeah, I've never been to a school that's legitimately in the woods. Look at this. We're parking on a trail. Thank God the parking spaces are numbered because if these parking spaces were not numbered, we would be lost out here in the woods. I was gonna make a bad joke. Y'all be looking for the teachers in Alabama. That's all I'm saying. Take you got battles to take them, but you figure it out, yeah. You fall and you break, you got changes to make now. See the light at the end of the tunnel. It's right there, now just look up and follow. Take one step at a time, babe, I'm with you. All the way. So baby, get up, 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 up. No, don't you stay down, 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 down. Now lift yourself up, 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 up. Baby, baby, get up, baby, get up. Shining, the darkest skies get so you used to be hiding behind your fears. But from my perspective, you got just what it takes. You're in control here. Don't you forget. You fall and you break, you got battles to take on, but you figure it out, yeah. But you fall and you break, you got changes to make now. See the light at the end of the tunnel. It's right there, now just look up and follow. Take one step at a time, babe, I'm with you. All the way. All right, y'all, so we are at lunch right now. They gave us Chick-fil-A for lunch. Get that chicken sandwich with them chips and that cookie. And now I got about 15 minutes, so I was just stepping outside to get a little bit of sun and chill for a second. Training is going good. This school is insane. So just trying to soak up some vitamin D and maybe think about what I'm gonna do when I get out of here. All right, so it's a wrap on day two, I mean on day one. And now I think I'm going to head to American Eagle Outlet, see if I can find some jeans. All right, y'all, so I made a plan. I don't know if this is an efficient one because I can't read maps. I am about to head to Edgar's Bakery. Seems to be very popular in the area. And then after that, I'm gonna head over to American Eagle. Oh, so we're not gonna let me come out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I pulled up to the bakery, but I really don't know where the entrance is. Y'all just made it to this little outlet mall. They have the American Eagle outlet here or something like that. So I'm about to see what they got. I'm looking for a 100% cotton jeans. Oh my God, this is way bigger than I thought it was. Where am I? I cannot read maps. Where's the UR here? <laughs>
just went in Banana Republic and it ain't out of my league, but I don't feel like I was ready. I feel like it's a different vibe. I was seeing some fancy stuff up in there. I was like, wait a minute. Oyster house, subpar, sub mother flipping par. It's a chain, okay. I thought it would be a little bit better than that though. It was not. I probably could have got what they served at the Olive Garden, no cap. Now I'm about to head back to the telly. Oh Lord, I am so glad to be back in the hotel. I'm tired, y'all. I'm about to take a shower and I'm about to get in this mother flipping bed. Okay, I got me some sweet treats. Done, done, done. So y'all, I'm sitting here watching an episode or so of The Office and I'm also eating my cupcake. This is the caramel cupcake. It was so hot in the car and it like flipped over, but I'm about to give it a taste. I've already tasted the caramel icing. It's really, really good. So now let's just get a bite. I want to taste the cake by itself. The frosting, that's the star of the show. The cake, that was so so. But all together, yes. So I got the office on, but I really want to watch like a movie or something. But this is not like a smart TV. So they don't got no apps or nothing on here. I tried to cast to it. I couldn't cast. Like, I'm gonna need them to upgrade their TVs. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. Yeah, I did not sleep great. I just knew that I was gonna sleep good. Cause like I didn't sleep good the first night. <sighs> All right, y'all. Quick fit check. I got on my faded MTV television shirt that I've had for a long time. I got this satin slip skirt, navy blue, with the Stan Smith, and I'm still rocking my circle woven bag that I got from TJ Maxx. I got a lot of compliments on this bag. And then all of a sudden I seen it pop up at TJ Maxx. Like I'm talking about like 30 of them, but ain't nobody buying them. It's like, they don't know. I don't think they know. I don't think they know. But yeah, I like this outfit. I think it's cute casual for the day. All right, y'all, it's day two. Walking through the wilderness. About to get my learn on. It's gonna be another day feeling like a student doing math. It's kind of stressful. Okay. So prove your conjecture using things like slope, distance, and midpoint formulas. Some helpful things are listed below. So, Deborah, you have been talking about 32 So I gave them like one piece of graph paper and some markers, and they were able to stand up with that there and show it. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to make a really nice paper. So I gave them like a piece of graph paper and they called it. Mm-hmm. Right, stop and go just in case y'all need something. Number five. Five, yeah. Did y'all teach? Did y'all teach? Yes. Whew, back in my car, y'all, day two, again. Parked in the woods. I don't know, y'all. These days be long. It, I, I feel like I'm back in school again because we literally sit there as students, and I think tomorrow she's actually going to model a lesson. <sighs> That's just 50 minutes out of the day. The rest of the day we're gonna be working. It's so intense, y'all. So intense. And I kind of checked out after lunch today, y'all. I wanted to vlog inside of Marshalls, but it was just like too many people in there. It's Wednesday. Can't even shop in peace. I don't even like nobody on the same aisle with me when I'm shopping because I feel like it's pressure. And this Marshalls was given. Are we in the hood? <sighs> Let me go to the hood. I'm ready, y'all. Back in the room. I'm gonna show you really quick what I got from the Marshalls. I ain't gonna lie. 
several compliments on the outfit. First of all, several people told me they like my MTV shirt. I know it wasn't the shirt, y'all, because I've worn this shirt before. This shirt is so old and it's dingy. But when you see it together with the satin slip skirt and the Adidas, they didn't know what they was complimenting. They just knew that something was going on here and they liked it. Because as soon as I walked in class, it started when I walked in class. And the presenter was like, I just have to say, I like your whole outfit. I already know what it was. They never thought to take a t-shirt and put it with a satin slip skirt and some sneakers and really dress it down. That's what it was. Thank you, Tasha. First thing I picked up from Marshalls. I can't, I don't know what you call this dress. This is just like a maxi dress. It's long and it was actually over there with like the swimsuit cover up. I was just kind of looking for something just like to throw on really quick. And then I picked up this skirt right here, which is like linen, it's like a linen mix. It has a slit in the front. It has a structured waist in the front, but in the back, you get that stretch. I just like the fact that it was linen and it's pleated and it was a neutral color and I feel like I could do some things with this. Last but not least, I got me a purse. I don't normally do backpacks, but when I seen this little backpack, I was like, oh yes. So this is the backpack I got. So this bag was made in Italy, it is leather. And it is a Valentina, not to be confused with Valentino bag. Valentina bag, they're not super expensive. Usually they're like around $300. But being that I got this one in Marshalls, it was only $60. From what I have read is that even though they're inexpensive comparatively to some of um, your other bags, the quality is superb. Italy usually does a good job with their leather products. So I was really excited about this bag and it's neutral. The cream on peanut butter is given. I saw a Maserati like that. But anyway, love, love, love. So. I have this cannoli over here. It looked like chocolate attacked the bag because I had started eating it yesterday. I probably should have put it in the refrigerator or something, but I think I'm going to eat the rest of that cannoli. And I have some pasta from that restaurant that I ate at yesterday. If I'm still feeling hungry and the sugar don't push me over the edge, I might dip into that pasta. And then I think I'm gonna change my clothes, put on a swimsuit and head down to the pool. Fatality. All right, so y'all probably can't tell, but I don't know if you see how like snug this fits me here and in the top, that's how I want that dress to fit. So I've decided I am gonna take it back. I want that dress to fit like this one, but I just used this dress today for my cover up. I got this bathing suit that I'm wearing from Shein, and now I'm just about to put on my slides. And <laughs> It's another day of learning out here in the great state of Alabama. Again, walk through the woods. One more day. We Today, out. towards the end of the training, was a little bit better for me because we got to the part that I'm kind of weak on, and it's in the field of statistics. But as I learn more about statistics, I'm like, I love statistics. Maybe when I retire from being a teacher, I'll do something with statistics. All right, let's go return this stuff. So I'm downtown, and I'm about to go to this place called Ferris. I was looking at some of the reviews about the food and it looked really, really good. So we're gonna check it out. was good. 
I had the Southwest egg rolls and I had that? some wings. I was shocked by the wings because they were good. It had like a maple chili glaze on them, fried really well, really hard, good. If it wasn't happy hour, I would have never got those wings because they were $6 for happy, happy hour for six and $12 for six, non happy hour. And then if you want it. So y'all, I did do some editing. I need to break for a second though. Cause I'm getting tired and it's only 7.49. Y'all, I go home tomorrow. I'm so excited about going home and hanging out with my family and getting in my bed. Yes, y'all, yes, yes, yes. So I gotta clean up though. And I'm gonna pack my backpack and everything that I need for work tomorrow and just get that all in the car too. Because we out of there at two. And I'm hitting the road. I don't know if you guys can hear the nature sounds, but just think about coming out here. Like if you worked out here and um, it was early before everybody was arriving at work and just sitting in your car, rolling down the windows and reading a book or meditating or doing something like that. I just love this freaking area. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I just had a moment of PTSD because this school looks like a college campus. It gave me like a flashback or deja vu of being in college. And that was the worst experience of my life. It's a wrap and I'm about to hit this road and head home. Oh, I'm tired.